know if you bring in value or not. And if you're not bringing value, what the fuck you think? You're consuming. <laughs> so you can't be mad in any situation, on, or whatever relationship, job, or whatever. You should be bringing value. And if you fuck? and if you can't, if somebody <laughs> asks you, if you want to know if you bring in value, they say, mm-hmm. "What is your expertise? What do you do?" And you can't explain that. Well, how do you help the company? You can't explain that. You can't even explain what you do. In a relationship, what do you bring to this relationship and you're offended or you can't explain that? You might want to look at the value you bring. Yeah. Because a lot of people say uh, this pussy or this dick. And I'm just like, bro, every there's we are Everybody a whole planet. Get that. Everybody got pussy in the dick, nigga. What the fuck? Like. You that you gotta understand. That's just like when people be like, "Oh, what you give me for my birthday, babe?" She be like, "This pussy," and I'm like, "But I get that other days of the year." Like, what the fuck? Is I'm like, that is not sex. It's not unless maybe for the first time any relationship, yeah, right? Sex is not. That's not a, a gift. gift. That's something that if if it was Tuesday in fucking November, I I can get pussy. like, come on. Bro. Shit like yeah, that. Know what actually is what value is. You could probably talk to AI and ask AI, what is value in, in this industry? In a relationship, like, you need to know what that person you would value. Yeah, is. what do they value? What is their love language? They like touching and you trying to fucking buy them gifts, and they gonna leave your ass. Eventually. <laughs> if, if a simple hug is what they want and you out here buying Louis bags like and when, they when you say wake up, they're not if somebody say I don't like hugging, they don't yeah. like hugging. Don't take it as they playing and you want to give them a hug. Well, I'm just to give you a hug because that's what I like to hug. And they don't, they don't yeah. want that. They're, no, they're not playing. People say what they really mean. Exactly. That's why Ali said he willing to compromise. In in any relationship, business or personal, you sometimes have to compromise, man. Even in a spiritual relationship with whatever God or universe, whatever the fuck you worship, you even have to make a compromise in that. So mm-hmm. don't be like, oh, this is, I fuck this bitch. She ain't even trying to get with the program. Like, unless you're a pimp, dog, <laughs> you need to compromise. And hell, I even think some pimps compromise, you know, it just, to me, or it's just like, or decide, thing. you know, it just ain't for you. You feel and get me? the hell on. You get the hell on. Because now you're just making problems. Like, for what? That's time wasted, man. That's the only real asset that we have in this fucking world is time, if you ask me. you know. And people will hate you when you're a guardian of your time. Yeah. Boundaries. Boundaries. Nice. Look, man, I, we, I can go on all day about fucking boundaries, but it's as simple as you know what you want, you know what you're trying to see, what you're trying to manifest. It's going to take boundaries to do any of that. You got to protect yourself from certain energies because if, you, if you're vibrating high as fuck, and you got these bullshit ass people around you that's constantly trying to get you into some shit. What you what the fuck you if you vibrate high and you throwing negative energy at that, it, all you doing is growing that shit. <laughs> and that's why I have a problem there because I I'm the master family, friends, whatever, of cutting people off. And I don't do it to be mean or whatever, but yeah, I have to healthy. my time and my energy. And if you got me thinking low vibrational thoughts and getting on a low vibrational level, yeah. I'm not going to sit there and di- it's a, you best believe it's going to be temporary. It's not going to be a long-term thing. Yeah. I look at it like this too. High vibrational people. We aren't the type to like, Oh, uh, like move slow. We act on shit. So if we in a low vibrational thought and we high vibrational people, we going to act on that shit. If you if I want to kill your ass and I'm high vibrational, more than likely I'm gonna kill your motherfucking ass. So that, don't take a lot of back and forth and all yeah, this. Other ain't stuff ain't none of that because we're healed. We operating on a totally different. You don't want to fuck with high vibrational people with negative shit anyway. That's why we have to create boundaries, or we gonna fuck you up. It just is what it is. So y'all gotta understand too, like. Just because the people think spiritual people, them the main, them the worst ones. They be the ones ready for the action. Like, y'all got to leave certain people alone, man. <laughs> the first thing, too, is why do you want to bother with somebody else? You know, as men and women, 
-hmm. You can just simply go your damn way and you never have to see that person. <laughs> Again, it Ever. don't take it don't take all this back and forth and threatening. and I don't do this. Leave people alone. Leave that trauma bonding. Be happy. Out. You know what I'm saying? If they don't owe you no money, do nothing to you or your family or, what, or anything else, leave them alone. Why? Why? why, why? I, I don't understand. What make a person wake up and say, <laughs> you know what? My life is so damn miserable. I want to just fuck with somebody else for no fucking reason. That's because they don't like me or they said something or done something I don't like. I don't like this person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my damnness to either go to jail or get my ass killed fucking with them. I don't understand why. What, what, what would make you do that? <laughs> for no Look, reason at all. This person, that's, this person that's how you own, know. They own world, they own atmosphere, but no. I got to make it a point to let this person know that I want to, I want to harm them or whatever and risk going to jail, being away from my family you know, or your family, whatever it is. Now, mm. you know, now I'm not, I, I'm not worried about my family and taking care of my, my kids and my family. Whatever. I'm going to jail. That's what I want to be. <laughs> I'm I, getting locked up. Jail, <laughs> or I want to get my ass shot the hell off. I want to be in a grave. <laughs> I want to be in jail. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's just no point in being low vibrational because you see how stupid that sounds. That's that's how you're like an animal. You're operating on instinct, on dummy shit. Like, no, lead that shit in the past. I am really not manifest some shit. You know, I am not for the streets. I am for the sweets, as they yeah. say. I don't want to be in a jail cell. I want to be on somebody's suite watching a game or somebody's sweet hotel room. Yeah. Or, or, or it's such a better life. Yeah, it's peaceful, mostly peaceful. quiet, you know. I want to go to bed when, when it's lights out. When, when it's lights out and I got to go to bed, it's because I got to get up and go to work in the morning. And I don't even want to keep doing that for the long term. <laughs> Look, chicken is in, our, is in both of our future because if he, if he cooking chicken, I'm gonna make sure it's the right chicken. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> that's, in, that's in the plans. 